Maintaining a good looking aesthetic on Instagram is one of those things that is both difficult and easy at the same time. It's something that I personally struggled with for what feels like forever really. Until recently when I came across a tool that has kind of revolutionized the way that I use or at least upload to Instagram. And just to clarify, this video is nothing to do with strategy really, it's more about the aesthetic side of Instagram. Because when it comes down to it, before anyone will actually follow you on Instagram, they're gonna take a look at your grid. And if you don't make a good enough first impression, you might not earn that follow. So basically what I'm trying to say is, you've gotta make a good impression. And for me, getting to that point has been a simple five step process, which has involved using two pieces of software, a web app called Later, and my preferred photo editor of choice, which is Lightroom. For me, this whole process begins in Lightroom where I edit the pictures however I want. I don't want to compromise the final edits so they're specifically tailored for Instagram because that just removes all the fun out of photography. It feels very functional that you're just creating images just to put on Instagram. On top of that, for the people that actually follow you, remember that it's actually the individual posts that matter most. Though you do want to consider a unified look, whether it be through the way that you use contrast or saturation or a color palette or something, just something to tie the images together. A quick and easy way to do that is to use the same preset across your images. And that's a very good way of making sure that the pictures that you edit have a consistent style, so to say. And another way of doing that is by selecting a camera profile and making it consistent. Remember, Instagram is effectively your own personally curated little art gallery. And you should be trying to create a consistency of sorts like you'd see at an exhibition in a real art gallery. But yeah, from there, I go through image by image, selecting what I'd like to put on my Instagram feed. And then I'll go into my develop module. I'll have to change the crop of a lot of these images because Instagram is very much a portrait platform and the maximum tallest aspect ratio that they let us use is four by five, which unfortunately means you'll have to conform the crop of your images to make it work really. So I have to go through and kind of see how I like these images best. Though so remember that even with your image cropped at four by five, when it shows up in your grid, it's gonna show up as one by one as a square. So you have to be aware of that with where you've placed your subject or the horizon in your images. From there, quite importantly, are the export settings. Now, the reason I give this part its own step is because, well, you wanna get these settings right. Otherwise, Instagram will choose how to compress the images and you'll probably end up with an over-compressed piece of. So here's the settings that I've refined over time that seem to do the trick. I've set it to 90 quality on the JPEG with the color space in sRGB, which it should be already in JPEG. I've resized the short edge to be 1080 and that's because I really only ever post portrait although if you are posting a landscape image you'll want to make sure that it's actually your long edge that is at 1080. Um, my resolution's at 300 ppi. It's a very simple but important step to ensure that you get the best quality that you can on Instagram. From there, I open up the app called Later and I make sure that I've selected preview mode, which basically shows me what my grid will look like. And it has all of my previous uploads there ready to see. To import the pictures, you kind of just drag them in, let them upload to Later. I like to just drag in pictures sort of one by one, kind of thinking of what I would like on the feed and when. It's kind of just a puzzle as you try to fit together different images unifying clumps by their composition or colors to create an appealing panel of images. It's not really a thing that one can explain. Just mess around with the order of the images until you find something that you feel really works. And if you've used Later for a while, something that I regularly do is delve back into previous pictures that I've prepared in a similar fashion that just haven't made the cut in the past because of what my grid was looking like and try and see how they can perhaps fit now. When I press save changes, it sort of takes a little while to load and it automatically schedules them in. Once you're scheduled in, you're pretty much done. And the fifth and final step to this all is just to sit back and relax and let later manage your uploads and do something else with a newly found time maybe go out for a walk and take some photographs which will eventually show up on Instagram and that's it really thank you for watching this video follow me on Instagram if you want to see those pictures as they get posted and yeah subscribe if you want to see more videos like this all of the YouTube things as ever thank you for watching I will see you next week